Hi everyone, my name is Pauline Logan and today I'm going to show you how you can set up our new GitHub action that you can use to prevent vulnerable libraries getting merged into your GitHub repo. So today's demo, I'm going to take you through the instructions that are available in GitHub. First thing I need to do is to configure a number of secrets so that I can authenticate with contrast and run the action. So I need to add four secrets to my GitHub repo and I can get the credentials that are required for those secrets from running the contrast CLI. If you are a new user to contrast, you can set up a free code sec by contrast security account. You can find the link to that from the instructions for the, the new GitHub action. There are three easy steps to get started with Contrast. You need to install the Contrast CLI, create an account and authenticate. And finally, you are ready to use Contrast. So once you have the CLI installed, you can use the Contrast config command, and that will show you the credentials that are required. So I've highlighted here the credentials that I need to set up as GitHub secrets, the host, the API key, organization ID, and authorization. And I can configure those secrets directly in my repo. So if I go to settings, and under settings, there is a secrets menu that's part of the, the security. And then under actions, you can see that I've already created the four secrets. So I've configured the contrast API key, contrast API URL, contrast auth header, and finally my contrast organization ID. And the values required were taken directly from the CLI. So once I've got those secrets configured, the next thing I need to do is to configure the workflow file. The workflow files to trigger the GitHub action are located in the repo at the following location. Within the setup instructions, we provide a number of sample workflows. So today's demo, I'm going to use the node sample that's provided. So I've copied that and I create that file in this location within my GitHub repo. So once I have that file copied across, there are a number of things that I need to configure to run the, the GitHub action. Going back to the instructions, the first thing I need to do is to update that workflow file to specify when the action should run. For example, if I want the action to run every time I create a pull request or every time I push code to main. And that's configured um, at the, the top of that workflow file. In this example, I want the contrast action to run every time I create the pull request to merge into main. And that's already set up within my file. Next thing I need to do is to update the file path in the workflow file to specify the location of the project configuration file where my dependencies are declared. I'm using a sample Node.js project. So I have a package.json that's located in the root of my repository. And I've configured that there with the, the file path. Finally, I need to specify what criteria I want to use to fill the action check. In this example, I want to feel if there is a CVE that's found with a critical severity. Um, so that is specified in the severity parameter. And then finally, I need to set the fail flag to true. That's everything I need to configure within the workflow file. Now I'm ready to run my action. So I have set this action to run every time I create a pull request. And I'm going to show you that running now. 
So let me just load up the, the README and I'm going to make a small edit and create a PR for that change. So creating the pull request And you can see that by doing that, that has automatically triggered my action to run. And you can see that that check has now started. I can load the, the details of that to see what's happening with the action. I can see that the, the action has failed. And looking into the details of that, I can see exactly the results from triggering that action. So I had set my severity to critical. In this case, contrast has found that there are two critical CVEs found within the, my dependencies. I can see the details of all of the dependencies that have been found, including those two critical within the logs that are output within GitHub. And if I go back to the PR that triggered that action to run, I can see that that check has failed. So I can now go back and update those vulnerable dependencies before merging my code into GitHub. Hopefully you find that very easy to follow. Um, you can see that it doesn't take long to get the new contrast SCA GitHub action running on your repo. We also have a GitHub action for our scan command. That's our industry leading um, SaaS engine. And you can also find the, the video of how to run that on the, the GitHub action. Well, that's all I have for today's demo. Thanks for watching.